Showing off military might is a tradition Colonel Gaddafi was happy to fulfill. This was the 40th anniversary of the revolution in 2009. But now his weapons are being used in anger. And the key questions are, how much weaponry does he have? What is he likely to do with it? And can it be neutralized? Libya's military might looks very different on paper than it does on the ground. The Air Force is said to be made up of 18,000 personnel, more than 200 fighter aircraft and 35 attack helicopters. But three aircraft have already been lost in the current unrest and the airworthiness of the remaining jets has been questioned. The Navy boasts 8,000 personnel and two submarines, but Western military analysts believe that the subs have long been abandoned. The Libyan army claims to have 50,000 soldiers, more than 2,200 battle tanks and 945 armoured personnel carriers. But military analysts believe that years of sanctions and overall neglect have rendered much of the army's equipment useless. Like any autocratic country, Gaddafi has probably for years been exaggerating the size of his armed forces. On the other hand, I would also uh, warn that his forces, the ones around him now, particularly the 32nd Brigade, led by his son Kamis, is probably the best equipped in the army. It's received Western equipment, uh, inked, uh, contracts inked in recent years. It's received outside training. And so despite the obsolescence of some weaponry, despite the poor servicing of some of his planes, he still retains the very best equipment as against the rebels. So, the Libyan army may not have the strength that it claims, but there's still a significant force on the ground. Analysts say that Gaddafi has a loyalist brigade made up of 10 to 12,000 troops, and those forces are trying to block the advance of the opposition and maintain control in western Libya. The heavy presence of loyalist forces means that Gaddafi still retains a strong grip on the capital, Tripoli, the town of Sabah, and his hometown of Sirte. It's thought that Libya destroyed its entire stockpile of chemical weapons in 2004 as part of a rapprochement with the West. It does have deadly mustard gas stored at a secret desert location, but no longer has the capability to deliver it. Small comfort for the rebels as they battle for victory. Tim Friend, Al Jazeera.